So if you just wanted to create something with Midjourney and it asks you to subscribe and you are pissed off and you're looking for alternatives, this is the video for you. So in this video, I would like to show you uh, two different tools that you can use instead of Midjourney and they are free. So you can start creating your art without having to pay. Let's dive right into it. So if you just try to create something with Midjourney and uh, it shows you that your free trial has come to end, you don't have to give up on art. There is a ton of different other AI tools that will allow you to create similar style of art without having to pay. So first tool I would like to mention is the Playground AI. So it allows you up to 1000 images per day, not per month, not per year, per day. If you will max this out, this is when you can um, update it for $15 per month and get uh, 2000 images per day with stable diffusion. Uh, this is a great, great offer. Let's see what it's able to do. So let's go to the homepage. Let's see what kind of art people are, are able to generate uh, with um, Playground AI. And as you can see, it looks really, really, really good. Um, let's choose something. Let's try to create something on our own. Let's see what it will be able to generate. The good thing with any of these tools is that you're able to see what other people used uh, for the prompt and for the uh, negative keywords. So you can use it on your own and try to create something for yourself. So let's open something that we like. Um, I'm looking to create a poster. So yeah, something like this maybe. So here you can see the prompt that they used and each of them, uh, each, each of these keywords is clickable so you can open and see what other uh, art in this style people are creating. Uh, more important, I would say, is uh, negative keywords. So using these negative keywords, you will be able to shape basically the AI to generate you what you want it to generate. So let's duplicate this tab, let's uh, log into this and let's try to create something. Okay, now I'm in, so this is what you're going to see. This tool is great for image edit, but I think it deserves its own video. So if you want this video, please give a comment and give it a like, so I will create it for you as well. Uh, in here, we can decide on the field so as you can see, very similar to what you can do with the mid journey. So in here, using different styles, you can basically push the AI to create the art that you would like it to create. So I created a quick prompt. We will try to make Elon Musk a revolution leader and we'll create a poster for him. So he will be able to use it to start a revolution if he wants to. And uh, here is what I've added. So pretty basic stuff that you usually see again in mid journey. Uh, let's uh, start and let's generate the art. So on my right, I have uh, different models. So I have playground, I have stable diffusion 1.5 and stable diffusion 2.1. Uh, the DALI uh, is paid. And next you have the image dimensions in here. Next the prompt guidance uh, quality. And uh, then if you already have a seed, you can input it here and how many images you would like to create. So I can uh, default it to four, let's say, and private session is uh, a feature for the paid plan. If you don't want others to steal your great inventions, then you can use that. Uh, so first of all, it's not really great. Um, let's try to exclude stuff from image. So first of all, I don't want any, any text. Uh, next, um, let's... Uh, fix the face. So uh, let's type ugly. Let's type um, uh, this uh, formation. Um, let's try this. And uh, let's regenerate it. Let's see what it will be able to do. Now we are generating four. Uh, maybe it will give us something better. Okay, yeah, it's much better. Uh, we still have some deformation in the face. But the first one is really cool. Uh, let's go to the homepage. Let's see what people do to fight the deformation. So I can see disfigured, disformed. So let's copy this. Let's uh, input this in our prompt. Let's change it to deformation. Okay, so I've customized it. I've added the commas. I'm not sure if they require it. So we will just test it. And I've also added some negative keywords. So let's generate uh, four new options and let's see what it will be able to give us. None of these look good. So all of them have still problems with the face. I like this one. So this one is like kind of his standing on the on the planet, as I assume. Uh, so this one is poorly cropped. This one has a lot of problems, two pair of legs and uh, something wrong with the face. This one is also kind of 
wrong. So uh, let's uh, move forward. Let's try to uh, narrow it down even more. Okay, so I changed it again. Um, I figured that like negative keywords didn't do well. So as you can see, I made several different options in here. Uh, so all of these and nothing looks really good. Uh, so I removed that and I wrote this part in more like human language, I would say. Um, and it worked fairly well. So it generated some of the good enough posters that I can add text to and uh, start like using everywhere. So great tool. Again, a lot of flexibility in here. Uh, you can play with the prompt guidance and the quality in here to get better output. So great tool. I highly recommend playgroundai.com. Okay, next tool is also amazing. So this is Dreamlake Art, uh, dreamlake.art. In here you have also a free plan and they give you 24 credits per day. And by default, I believe you receive 50 credits that you can use. Let's go to the homepage. Let's see what people are able to create. And as you can see again, everything looks really good. It looks more like artistic and this one is photorealistic. It looks really well. I would never tell it's AI. Uh, so let's uh, get account and let's play with it as well. Okay, so we are in, as you can see, I have 35 credits. Uh, first of all, they allow you different models in here. So as you can see, realism engine, we will try that as well. We have dreamlike diffusion. So a lot of different uh, stuff to play with. Let's start with the number one. Uh, for the prompt, I will paste the exact same thing. Uh, negative prompt by default, they have the low quality. Let's keep it. Uh, in here, we can also have the initial image. So this is also something that might be interesting to play with. Again, a lot of these tools, as you can see, they're much easier to work with uh, than Mid Journey, right? So you have all this UI that you can use in order to make your experience easier. Let's uh, move forward with that. So as you can see here, one image costs 2.2 credits. I'm wondering if it's based on the model, uh, why it's not like one credit, but yeah, whatever, let's uh, try it. And with the first try, I would say it got really close to what I had in my mind. So something like uh, Soviet Union style, if you wish, um, but it looks really well. Um, so what I would do, I would uh, remove the text from this. Um, I'm not really sure what else I would change. I would maybe play with different variations. So uh, next thing what we can do, we can enhance that. So let's generate one without text and then let's try to enhance this poster. Okay, so this one looks really interesting. And in here we have the American flag and like a communistic Chinese star, I would say. So it's already some uh, contradictions in here, uh, but I love it. Let's uh, play with it. Let's enhance it and uh, let's upscale by 4x maybe. And uh, let's fix faces. This really interesting option. I never seen that. Let's uh, try it. Let's see what it will be able to generate. Okay, it looks fairly well. So here is what we've got. Um, it didn't really fix the face, uh, but it looks funny. Uh, this is something we can use. So let's maybe play with the first one. Let's go back. Let's again enhance this one for four rigs and let's uh, enable the fixed faces as well. First one was really great. I love how it captured the face and uh, how it has the composition, right? So this one looks really good. This like looks like a real face, right? Uh, the hair looks kind of funny, but again, we can, we can play with it. Awesome, this is exactly what I wanted. And honestly, Dreamlike Art did much better than the Playground AI. So if you are going after something like this, definitely use this tool. Okay, now let's try the photorealism. So I would do everything the same, but I will remove the poster and let's see what it will do. Okay, this looks really good. This looks kind of scary, to be honest. Um, amazing, yeah. The face was captured much better, in my opinion, in here. Uh, let's also try to remove the artistic and concept art. I think it might kind of uh, scare this thing off. And let's uh, generate one more and let's see what it will be able to do. Okay, so I definitely love this one. So this one is, I think, the best one from what we had. I love the outfit that it gave to him. It's really amazing. We can definitely use that. Uh, let's try enhance it. Yeah, enhanced version um, looks fairly well, uh, but uh, as you can see, it's not as dramatic. So it removes some of the shadow, it removes some of the wrinkles and all of that. Uh, I think this is more dramatic, right? And just like that, our poster is done. So this is something that we can use. Let me know which one you like the most. I definitely enjoyed playing with the dreamlike art more, but uh, the Playground AI gives you a thousand of free images. So with this, with the dreamlike, you can do like what, like 20? 
and here you can do a thousand. So let me know what you would choose. And let me know if you like the result. If you're more into content generation, then I have a really great video about Jasper AI. You can click on it uh, here. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give a like and subscribe so other people will be able to find it as well. I make a lot of videos like this one, so do not miss them. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.